guys, today is Thursday and it's more of a normal day. Everybody works, goes to school, so what I'm gonna do is go to the uh, downtown where I've been before, but I'm gonna go see all the museums that they have. I'm here, this is the museum, we're gonna go inside. I believe this is uh, the art museum, pretty sure. Just so you guys know, there's a park here called Exposition Park and the museum is right next to it. Here's the entrance. It was six dollars, I mean six dollars to come in. She was telling me that the second floor is not open, so it's just like the first floor. Uh, there's three expositions right now. So this first exposition we have here is from uh, artifacts. Things that they found at a uh, site um, north of Lima. I think it's called Huaram. Um, yeah, Huarme right here. Huarme Mali. Oh, okay, so he's right. It's actually a mausoleum that they found. So these were all people that were buried with their possessions and tools. Well, these exhibitions are really small, so it is worth it when they have the second floor open. Which I gotta say, one of the nicest things in this uh, museum is the building itself. It's really nice. But let's check out this exhibition here. There's only three, and two of them are the same guy. His name is Fernando Coco Bildoya. This waiting room right before, right before the exhibitions. It's really nice here. But I want to get your attention again to the architecture of this building. Look at the pillars. They're really nice. Like everywhere I've gone in Latin America, they have these plazas, which is just technology plazas, where they sell computers, laptops, monitors, everything for the computer. I'm gonna go to one of them because I need a memory card for my new MP3 player. So let's see how cheap I can get it. So guys, I got this 8 GB memory card for 20 solos, which is not any cheaper than the other place, but um, the other place was the same price, but you get less. So the other one was 4 gigs for 20 solos, here's 8 gigs for 20 solos. So there's this walking street here that is just like all their downtowns. Uh, pretty much um, this one takes you from one plaza to the other one and it's just full of businesses, people trying to sell you stuff. It's really nice because if you go to any of the buildings, they have like floors of just businesses. Sometimes it's just fun to walk inside those buildings and just see what kind of things they sell. Yeah, buddy. Remember this place, you guys? It's the main plaza. It's right here. It's another famous touristy area. It's called, uh, I think, San Francisco Cathedral. Uh, this place is really touristy because it has some catacombs on the on the bottom of the church. So we'll see if uh, we can get in and see how much the price is. This is a very touristy thing of Lima right here, so it might be full and it might be expensive. So we'll see. Guys, this is one of the nicest, it's not a church, it's a monastery. That's where uh, the monks come to uh, work or to retreat. I don't know what monks do, but this is a really nice place for the monks. This looks like it used to be like a main gathering of all the religious people around here. Look at this. It's like if it was a palace. So it's pretty much a cemetery. 
they call them catacombs, but it's just a cemetery used back in the day for the whole city of Lima. That is really, really crazy that they built all of this back in the day. It's very well built. I mean, it's still alive and there's earthquakes here. It's an earthquake prone area. And all of this looks great. I'm sure there used to be bones here and they just cover them when they get full. There's also rooms, like more or more rooms that they close up once it's full. Full of bones. So guys, I believe that was worth seven souls for sure. Yeah, very well taken care of, very nice, very big monastery here. Uh, definitely worth the money. And that's why it's one of the most touristy parts of Lima, for sure. So finally, the place where actual mass was served. Now this one you don't have to pay. <laughs> they still use this. So right next to or behind the monastery, which is right here, looks really bad from the back. There's this park, which I know there's a river, and there's a nice view of the city here. So, actually there's no big river. I think it's, it's either over there, where that wall is, or it's just underground now. But uh, look at that hill over there, full of houses, that's an invasion. So when a lot of people from the outside come to live here, and there's nowhere to live, they go right on the hills. Which, I didn't know this, but uh, Lima, it's... Uh, it's a desert. I didn't know that. So, no, oh, and actually, this is like La Muralla. It's uh, I forgot about this. It's a wall right here, and I guess there used to be a wall running all along this side right here. And there, I guess the river was bigger because then they would protect them from the pirates that were coming up on the river because the ocean is that way. So let's see if this is gonna prove me wrong. All right, so yeah, this one says that this was like a wall for a fort. But I mean, it's really, it's been really destroyed. So I'm pretty sure it was higher and it was way longer than this. <laughs> Look at this dog, you guys. So I guess it's six, I think it's six. But look at these guys. This is the National Palace. Let's go. 